Um, I just got back from Disney World yesterday and I didn't think I bought that much stuff, but now I'm looking at it and I kind of did. <laughs> we were there for 10 days, so you know, you buy like a few things every day and it really adds up. Before we start, I want to apologize for my appearance. I did have to go to work today, um, and I really want to just show you guys this stuff so I can put it away so my husband doesn't kill me. So let's just get started. Um, I'll start with the two things I'm wearing, and one are these little Mickey earrings that I got at Animal Kingdom. I think they were $25, and you can pretty much find these at all the gift shops. And the other thing is this t-shirt from Pirates that says we wants the redhead. I had to have it because they're changing that scene and I love it. But it's kind of like chauvinistic but it's classic and it doesn't really offend me. So um, anyway, this came from the Pirates gift shop, obviously. Okay, next thing is this Jack Skellington pillow thing that I got for my stepdaughter from uh, the Christmas shop at the Magic Kingdom. She loves Nightmare Before Christmas, so we got that. And this little Halloween Mickey ornament. I always get ornaments to, it's like fun when you're decorating your tree to kind of reminisce on where you got them and you know, stuff like that. And since we went to the Halloween party and we were there in September, I thought this was a good one to get. And then, because we stayed at the Grand Floridian the first five nights, I got this Mary Poppins shoe ornament. And the heel is her umbrella handle. It has her signature. It's really pretty. And if you've ever been to the Grand Floridian, you know there's Mary Poppins stuff everywhere there. And I also got this Mary Poppins bag ornament, but this is for my best friend because she loves Mary Poppins too. Okay, I also went to Basin White uh, a few times <laughs> because I had this idea to buy a soap and then use it while we were there and then buy another one to bring home so when we got home we could use a soap and remind us of our trip because you know like scent memories whatever so I got these little tiny bath bombs these are not for me I'm gonna do a giveaway um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it here or on my Instagram but these will be in that and then I got this you can't really see these, so they're not very fun. This is like a Mickey, um, like fall scent. It's kind of spicy, and his little Mickey heads are like dark green and brown. And then I got a rubber ducky. I actually got two of these. I used one at the boardwalk, so this is the one that we can, you know, remind us of our five nights at the boardwalk, and it does have a rubber ducky on it. Um, this is Ice Cherries, and this is the one that we used at the Grand Floridian. Uh, this one smells like candy. It's amazing. I love that soap. This is another one of those Fall Mickey soaps. I'll probably put this in a giveaway, too. Uh, Seth picked this one out. It's Lemongrass and Cranberry, and it smells like Lemongrass and Cranberry. This is Autumn Leaves. That smells so good. It's like if you know what the, um, like the Bath and Body Works, like toasted marshmallow one smells like, it's kind of like this. It smells really good. And I got two of those, so I guess I'll give one of those away too. We shall see. Okay, then at the Magic Kingdom, from the from Memento Mori, the Haunted Mansion gift shop. I think these socks were like two for 20. So these are the stretching room portraits. They're like uh, kind of thick, like silky-ish. 
And then the other side has the other two. I love the tightrope walker. I wore my um, tightrope walker ears to the Halloween party. They're so cute. Um, and so I got these. And then I also got these that I wore to the Halloween party. I can't find the other one. But it has a little bat on the side. And the bottom of this one says ghost. And the bottom of the other one says host. So that's what we got from there. Um, we did eat breakfast at Cinderella's Royal Table. So more of these. I think I'm kind of Cinderella's Royal Tabled out. Um, we've done it like three times now. And it's kind of starting to lose its appeal. Or lose the mat. I don't know. Anyway. There's many. Um, okay. And I got some pins. I collect these Adventures Out There pins. And I got the Cheshire Cat and Gemini. I already have Gemini, so if anyone wants to trade these, let me know. Um, and then I have this pack I haven't opened yet. I guess I'll just open it now. Why not? So... Here are the options. I have Cheshire Cat, Simba, Rapunzel, Minnie, and Gemini. So I need Dopey, Mickey, and Pinocchio. I think that's it. Okay, so let's see what I got. I'm so bad at trying to feel them and guess. I'm just going to open it. I'm usually wrong. Oh my god, it's another Gemini! What the crap? Gemini is my favorite, but I don't need three of them. So, yeah, if anyone wants to trade, just let me know. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh, and it's another Rapunzel. They're pretty, but I don't need all of those. So, if anyone wants to trade a Rapunzel or a Gemini for a Pinocchio, Dopey, or Mickey, let me know. And then I got this mystery pen pack. And I really got it because it's like stamps. And I got it mostly because of this Gemini Cricut one. So, let's see what's in here. There's just one in here, so I hope it's him. <gasps> I'm nervous. Oh my god, I can't open it. Okay, we'll work on this later. I feel like I got another one of these at Epcot too, but I can't find it. So, I don't know what happened to it. Oh, I also got this um, hitchhiking ghost, whatever this thing is called. What is this thing called? A fidget spinner. That's for my stepdaughter, too. Ugh, I'm upset that I can't open this. And I think that was like $5 with any purchase. Okay, so one night we went to Trader Sam's, which, if you don't know, is like a little dive bar at the Polynesian. And if you want a table... Oh, I opened it! Oh, it's Lady and the Tramp. That's cute. Okay. I like them. That's cute. Okay. Anyway, it's a dive bar in the Polynesian, and it opens at 4. And if you want a table, you need to be there at, like, 345. Put your name on the list. We were, like, the last people to get a table. And we were there for, like, an hour and a half. So, you know, if everyone stays for an hour and a half, you're going to be waiting for a long time. So, if you really want a table, get there at 3.45. Well, we probably were there like 3.50, but if you want to be sure, get there early. So, anyway, after a few drinks, I decided that I needed all the freaking souvenir cups they had. So, we got the one that came, the Krakatoa came with. And you will, like, get your drink in this glass, but you have to, um... 
If you want them, tell your server, and then they'll give you clean ones that have never been used. So this is the Krakatoa. And I do want to say that the cast members at Trader Sam's are amazing, and they really get into it and make it, like, the best experience. Like, I cannot recommend it enough. Um, this was the Hippopotami Thai. All of these drinks were really good, too. This was the Shrunken Zombie Head. And the Polynesian Pearl. Um... If you order a Polynesian Pearl, you get to keep your Pearl, no matter what. You don't have to pay extra for it. So that's that. We also went to Tambu Lounge. Seth ordered a back scratcher, so you get a free back scratcher with it. Whew, okay, this is a lot of stuff. All right, we went to Animal Kingdom, and we got this Yeti for my stepdaughter, and he is super cute. He was $20, which is not bad for a plush at Disney. And he's really soft. Um, we also went to Tiffin's. And this is free. Oh my gosh. I just had to delete so much stuff from my phone to do this video. So I'm not sure how much time I have left. So I'm going to really try to hurry. Okay. So we did the photo booth at Animal Kingdom. It's a really cheap souvenir it's like five dollars but it's really hot in there so there's that all right also got my stepdaughter this little hand sanitizer this is from epcot oh animal kingdom i got a margarita and pandora and it came with this cup this is plastic and this little light up thing whatever that is Okay, moving on to Epcot, I got two postcards from the Art of Disney store and this little food and wine pattern that says Bon Appetit, and these were $5 each. I got my sister this soap and the France Pavilion, because when we went to Paris one night, we stayed at the Hotel Le Chat Noir, so there's that. I got my mom these French butter cookies because she loves these. These also came from France, obviously. And I got myself this um, Givenchy perfume. And they were doing free personalization, so they engraved my initials on it with some flowers. And this smells amazing. So good. And they also gave me a bunch of samples. So, that's that. I got some pens. I got two food and wine pens. Planning on giving one of those away. I got a Gemini Cricut because, like I said, he's my fave. And I got this Epcot food and wine, um... Alice in Wonderland, whatever, that's the Dormouse on there, and this is like one of the fold-out ones, so, Mad Hatter, don't know who that guy is, and him, so that's that, and I got a Christmas ornament, food and wine, because I love Christmas ornaments. Also got these two wine glasses. I bought a set like this last year and Seth broke one of them. So we'll see how long those last. Also, if you bought a $200 gift card for food and wine, you got this lanyard. So we did this one day. And the other day I just got one of the regular like bracelet ones because it's a little bit easier then taking this out and scanning it and all of that so also got a little orange bird because after Gemini he is my second favorite he's so cute look at his little head and he's so soft I love him um it also was extremely hot and sunny so I bought this um parasol in China I think this was $20, but I don't remember. 
And it did help some. I mean, it was still really hot, but it helped, you know, keep the sun off my face. So that's good. From the Japan Pavilion, I got this, which I'll probably put in a giveaway. These little chocolate suckers, which I'll probably give away. This um, Hello Kitty pin, which I'll probably give away. All this came from Mitsukoshi. This pin is mine. It's so cute. Um, two Pockies, a green tea, and a strawberry. This pop and cooking for my stepdaughter. We like to do these together. Those are pretty fun. Oh, here's that other mystery pin pack. All right, let's open this. See who's in here. I hope it's Gemini. We shall see. Maybe. These are so hard to open. Oh, it's a Cheshire cat. Ugh. I guess he's cute too. Dang it. Okay. That's all I got from Epcot. From, okay, so when we were at um, the Grand Floridian, we went to Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom. When we stayed at the Boardwalk, we went to Epcot and Hollywood Studios. So I got this and our resort gift shop because they didn't have any Christmas ornaments. So I got this mug. It was $16. And I got this chip mug for my pen pal on Instagram. And this was 23. Okay. At Hollywood Studios, we went to the Fantasmic dessert party. It's new. Um, and I definitely recommend it, but I'll do a video on it later. So you get a drink in this souvenir glass. And we got margaritas, and they were actually really good. So there's that. And they also give you these little glow, cu cu glow cubes and these lanyards that light up. So that was really fun. Um, I got my stepdaughter this little ice cream truck Sim Sim set. But I think I'm going to hang on to this until Christmas. I used to hate when my parents did that, and now I do it. So, You know, you want something, and they're like, okay, but you can't have it until Christmas. Then you don't even want it by then anymore. But it has um, a little Donald or Daisy. Yeah, Daisy. And Donald. And then Angel, oh, sorry, I'm trying to hurry and it's like messing everything up. Angel and Stitch, okay. Um, then from Disney Springs, I got this Small World luggage tag and all of this stuff came from the co-op. This luggage tag, this luggage tag, because I love Peter Pan obviously. Um, and then I got, so the whole time I was there, I was looking for the Kingdom of Cute pin set. Couldn't find them anywhere. The app kept saying they were sold out everywhere. So I did find these Kingdom of Cute socks and I bought one pair for me, one pair for Melissa from Melissa's Disney Life. Actually, I think she's Peaches and Pixie Dust now. Or pixie dust and peaches one of those anyway one of these are for her and one of these I will probably give away so oh I also bought the postcard and that kingdom of cute print I think it's so cute I'm really sad I couldn't find the pins um also for some reason took the boardwalk um <laughs> room service menu which we actually did use and it was fantastic so i took that i don't know why and i also went to basin at disney springs as if the ones i got from basin white weren't enough 
I got this Jack soap. He smells good. And actually got these for my mom and my sister. Another Mickey. This is what the Autumn Mickey looks like. Actually, this is the Gingerbread Mickey. That's a Gingerbread Mickey. This Mickey. I don't know. It's hard to smell from the plastic. I don't remember. But it's the Christmas red and green one. And then this holiday treat. Oh, okay, so that's all I got. That's it. Um, thank you for watching. Sorry this took forever. Sorry about my hair. I do anesthesia. I'm a nurse anesthetist, and my hair has been in a scrub cap all day since I took a shower this morning. So that's why it looks awful. And yeah, anyway, thank you for watching, and I will... Um, oh, so we did record most of the trip. If I can figure out how to edit the videos on a GoPro, I'll put vlogs up. If anyone knows how I do that or what program to use, please let me know because I have absolutely no clue. Um, and that's it. Be looking for a giveaway. It'll either be here or on my Instagram. Since I usually do them on Instagram, I'll probably do one on YouTube. So um, just be looking for that. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.